it's the 22nd of August. Um, yesterday I called in on my way back from dropping off uh, mum-in-law for a holiday um, to the Fry Gallery in Saffron Walden in Essex to see the um, Keith Vaughan exhibition that they've got going on there. Um, I've only recently come across Keith Vaughan but I, I really like his work and um, this morning I've, I've read all through um, this booklet about um, his sort of his time in Essex and um, his his house that he built there. Um, I while I was at the exhibition, um, I did this sketch, which was um, he worked with a really limited colour palette and in um, gouache as well, which um, I hadn't really um, looked at very closely before, though I'd heard of it. And um, the way he uses it is just lovely because it's opaque, but he uses um, masks and overlays it's really solid and dense but it also shows all the brush strokes and you get really strong direction and grain um, but he was really good at looking at a scene and capturing what what was the essence of it um, and I made this page of notes from um, uh, a, it was a typed document that he'd done for a retrospective at the um, Whitechapel Gallery in 1950 um, and I'm going to type that out and put that on my blog um, because he was talking about what, what the artist is actually looking for and, and trying to capture. Um, and again, back to this theme that I've met with other artists and been coming to, that if you limit where you look and what you have, you actually get far more out of it. Um, he'd also got some little pencil sketches that were only this, this size, um, sort of... Um, three or four inches and um, mounted up on big boards they were charging 980 pounds for those so um, that, that's something to aim at um, and then um, they'd also got um, the the sort of normal gallery set up which they change every year um, and Michael Rothenstein prints were there so I spent some time um, looking at his prints and um, there's a guide there to um, this this year's um, seasonal works. Um, so I was looking at the the layers and the way he'd built up his work. There was a Michael Ayrton print, um, which um, I really liked as well. And I was it was up really high on the wall. It was hard to see um, what was going on. It was mixed media, but um, I, I liked the effect that it had. Um, and what it's left with me is this question when I'm drawing about what's fixed and what's structural, what, what doesn't move in the landscape and what is temporary, transient, ephemeral. So, for instance, um, drawing a, a garden scene, the, the plants for, for the time being are going to be fixed, but over seasons they will change and the lighting or an insect on them is going to be really transient and the more I think about that the more it applies to um, any kind of drawing really as to what what's fixed in place and what's changing and and maybe that's that's my subject I keep, I've keep flitting around and drawing different things from people to landscapes to flowers all sorts of different things grab my attention but maybe it's that question that I'm trying to draw and um, Keith Vaughan certainly drew from what it was that he felt um, emotional about and tried to capture the emotions. Um, I also picked up the um, exhibitions guide for um, this season at the moment and um, I've been through that and um, Margate, I might manage to get to next week, to Mondrian and Colour, that would be really good if I do it, Turner Contemporary. Um, there's a Henry Moore at Much Haddam, but I'm not sure, that's not top of my list. Um, Dulwich Picture Gallery, which I should be able to get to London to see my daughter, um, that, that would be going on. But I'm also going on a, um, I've arranged a drawing day with some friends at um, Kettle's Yard in Cambridge next week. Um, National Gallery, that was interesting, making colour, showing how how colours are created and used. And there's the um, Henry Matisse at 
Tate Modern, although I did manage to get to the national screening of that, so it's not like seeing the real thing, but I have um, had a chance to look at that one. And uh, Norwich Castle, Wonder of Birds, is um, still there, which um, my husband looked at and thought would be good, so maybe that's something we can go and do together. Um, yeah, got a, um, nice to have a break from mum, and got a busy few weeks ahead of me.